Hey everybody, it's Krista from Hilltop in the Valley blog and YouTube channel and I am not done with my garden. And I wanted you guys to see some things that I like to do in our garden because the garden really excites me every year. <laughs> if you haven't seen our video, how we use um, homesteading to help with our family's special diets, go check that one out. Um, we just find it as a really great way to make sure our family is getting the right nutrition that they need. And one of the ways we do that is through gardening. It's so fun to make these trellises with your kids. If you have kids or grandkids, get them over while you're doing this because it's a really simple, easy project and they will love it. And you tell them that these things are gonna have beans coming up over them and it'll be so exciting for them. I discovered how to grow pole beans a couple years ago and I have loved it and the kids have loved it too. I would say it is about their favorite produce that we grow in the garden is the pole beans. They're just, it's almost like watching something magical to see something grow that much in such a short time and that tall. And to have it be a climbing plant, um, it's really cool because you can do so many things to have it climb either on a fence, it can climb on different trellises, but I have kind of gone back to the same thing every year and I just use sticks. Um, we usually get them from out of our field. If you know anyone who has trees that they trim each year, ask them to get some sticks from them. Um, I usually use about six foot sticks for our bean trellises. This year I'm actually going to try another one doing some new ones that are about seven foot sticks to see if I can get them to go a little taller because bean plants grow and you know what? They will take the room. So I'm not worried about making them too tall. But we're going to chop up some more sticks and we're going to put a couple more together this year too. I, I think I had some of them set more to about six feet and I will be doing more that are about six feet, six and a half feet in the other garden. Um, but really you can go shorter if you'd like. For pole beans, I really like to give them room to grow. So after doing the five and a half foot ones last year and the year before, I really wanted to get them to be a little bit bigger because I noticed that the pole beans will get to the top and then they'll start curling over and going down, which is fine. You can do five and a half foot and that is fine. But I realized I could give them more room and they would still continue to grow. So this year we are going to try doing some taller ones as well. And I'm excited to see how that works because having a big teepee in your garden is kind of fun. It's really fun to go inside the teepee to get the, the green beans for the kids. And so that is one of the funnest parts of harvesting in our garden every year. So I use about five to six sticks for each trellis. So if you are planning multiple trellises, make sure you do the math first, figure out the exact number that, of sticks that you will need and then set them aside in groups so you know each stick goes to which trellis. The other thing that you're going to need for these is some twine or some kind of string to hold the tops of your teepees together. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty simple, right? <laughs> so make sure you have all your sticks nearby because you're going to want to be able to have a free hand to grab the sticks. And this is why a second person or a second kiddo is a great idea to be a little helper for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to evenly put those sticks, the bottoms will go in kind of a circle. I like to dig them into the ground where the teepee will be so that it can't be moved and if a storm comes or something comes, um, it's not going to suddenly fall over. The top of the sticks will all be coming into the center and they will begin to cross over each other. You'll take your string or twine and go ahead and wrap it around in different directions just to make sure where those sticks are crossing, they're going to be held together. You want to do this really tight so that they don't move. And you'll add each stick after those two or three in one at a time and do the same thing. Just keep wrapping that string 
around and around in different directions to try and tightly hold them together. Depending on how many you're using, go ahead and do a few more extra wraps around to hold it sturdy and then find the other ends and make a really tight tie. You're gonna wanna definitely um, have a good knot there because you don't want this to come undone. But really, that is it. You can add to the bottom of your teepee. If you want, you can add more string and wrap it around the sides and go up the teepee doing that to give whatever um, peas or beans something else to grow along. But we've found for our beans, we don't need that. They grow up that one stick really easily. These are great for kids because the kids love going inside of them in the summertime. They are so fun to look at. They're so beautiful. And if you're growing beans, I love looking at the blossoms on them. And even just seeing the beans hanging off of them is so lovely in the summertime. My video on how we make our own herbal tea in the springtime, check that out. It's really fun and it'll inspire you guys that it's not that hard to do and it is an extra fun activity during the springtime for kiddos. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, I appreciate all of you who have liked and commented on my videos. If you haven't, I'd love to hear from you. And if you do make a TP trellis or another type of trellis, I'd love to hear about it. It's always fun to hear what people are doing and to hear new things and get inspired by new things as well. So let me know. That's all for today. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I will talk to you guys again soon.